Welcome to the Spirited Blogger Podcast. On this podcast, I am introducing polymer clay. Polymer clay is kind of like a resin plastic type of clay. It is very malleable. It is not clay itself, but it acts as a clay. You can sculpt it, you can twist it, you could do all kinds of things with it, and you can harden it in your oven. You bake to have your final product. Some of the products range from jewelry, miniatures, and even fine arts in some galleries. The brand names to watch for are Primo, Fimo, um, Sculpty. There's also Living Doll. There is a Super Sculpty. And there's also Liquid. They come in liquid forms. And it's best to get those if you plan to make more realistic types of items. It's a very crafty, artistic kind of thing to get into. And it's very addicting once you start developing the skills and becoming very good at it. Because it kind of opens the door for you, especially if you're a seller. If you're an internet seller that sells crafts, this can actually enhance your products. And anything that you think you can make with regular clay, you can make with polymer clay. It does not come out to the same extent, but you can make little tiles also if you want. Very lightweight. I, I would suggest to write it all down and kind of brainstorm on what you would like to try to do with it. And next also, you can use the tutorials on YouTube. There's also tutorials on their web pages. And there's also some books that you could buy. As far as tools, I think the most expensive tool would be the oven if you would like to buy the craft oven. But you could use your kitchen oven just as well. Like I think it goes to like 227 degrees for about 20 minutes. It uh, depends on the clay, so it's best to read the instructions. And the next most expensive thing would be a pasta roller. The pasta roller helps to blend the clay together. Now each brand name has a different texture and tendency. Best thing, always get a liquid polymer clay. This could be like a Fimo brand and some of them are generic that you could find. But it's best to do your research. The tools are the same as you would use for sculpting and clay and ceramics. But they also have very tiny ones that you could purchase for very inexpensive. You want to make sure you have a cutter and shapers and also alcohol on hand for afterwards to get your fingerprints off. The best suggestion I can give if you're trying to save money is if you go on eBay you can find it in bulk. Usually somebody who took up the craft and is no longer doing them, they will have a variety of these clays and maybe some tools along with it and usually that's the cheapest way to start if you would like to try but if you would like to just go and get the supplies you could try to buy one of each brand and get your tools and make sure to have your area and it's best to have something to work on that's clean I use a marble slab actually and it just makes it feel better you know because it doesn't stick and that's what you want you don't want to do it on your wood or on, straight onto your craft table so it's best to have something underneath you know I hope you will try this out you know it's already summer it's almost you know Christmas in July season where you start making your crafts for the holidays it's a good thing to do during the summer if it's too hot to go outside or you just want to learn something new I would suggest uh, trying out polymer clays and see what you could come up with. Thank you for listening.